In this video, we will demonstrate how to externalize SharePoint content to Windows Azure using StoragePoint and the Windows Azure adapter. We will first talk about how to configure a storage profile for Windows Azure. This is what directs StoragePoint to externalize content to the cloud. We will also demonstrate how end users can still work with content with no impact from StoragePoint or the Azure adapter. All administration and configuration for StoragePoint is done in SharePoint Central Administration under the Application Management tab. Under the Storage Point section, we can click the Storage Profiles option to configure a storage profile. Let's take a look at the Azure profile that I've already got configured. There are a number of options you can set, uh, but for today we're just concerned with the setting up the Storage Settings section. And the main thing here to configure is the connection string. For this connection string, you'll need the account name and your secret key given to you from Microsoft. You can also set a container property. Today we're using Azure Video Demo. An end user is not impacted by externalizing content to Azure using StoragePoint. I'll be using Cloudberry to demonstrate this. Cloudberry Explorer is a tool that you can use to browse blobs on Azure. If you remember the connection string I set up, I would be using the Azure Video Demo container. You can see that there's nothing in this container at this time. As an end user, I could still work within the native SharePoint interface exactly as I would without StoragePoint installed. I can go into my shared documents library and I can upload multiple documents. I'll just grab a few sample docs from my sample document library. And as these get uploaded, they'll immediately be externalized to the Azure cloud. If I go back into Cloudberry again and I refresh, I can see that I now have three blobs corresponding with the three files that I have just uploaded. If I open a document from within this interface, it opens right within the browser just as a user would expect. The same is true for other types of documents as well, such as Excel files. I can also create a new document within the SharePoint native interface. We'll just create a new Word document and paste some text into here. And I'll close Word and save this back into the document library. When I hit save, this will immediately be externalized to Azure. And if I go back into my Cloudberry Explorer application and refresh, we can see that we now have four blobs corresponding to the four blobs in my document library. Storage Point works with the SharePoint Explorer view as well, so if I go ahead and open these, this document library in Windows Explorer, we can see that I have my four files here. I can go to my sample documents library and drag in a couple more documents as I see fit. These are being externalized to the Azure cloud. And I can open these documents right from within this as well. If I go back to my Cloudberry application and refresh yet again, we can see that we have additional files that have been added to the cloud. This concludes the demonstration for externalizing storage point content to Windows Azure. If you have any more questions, you can go to www.storagepoint.com. Thank you for watching.